Hey everyone. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, you know what? Okay. I was, I was thinking about picking up my, uh, prescription from the pharmacy, but traffic is so freaking. I just want to get to work. So anyway, um, traffic's really bad. So, okay. Let me just update you on what was going on with the creepy pharmacy technician that I mentioned in a live stream, but the recording in a live stream is pretty horrendous. So I'll just tell you now. Um, back in February, I dropped off my prescription for Adderall and every few weeks or months or whatever, because now it's mid May. So it's been quite a while. I would go to farm. I would go to the Walmart. I'd ask them what's going on with my prescription. And they would just say, it's a nationwide shortage. You just have to wait. There's really nothing anyone can do. Not a, another pharmacy, no one. So, um, and I had recently called the Walmart and whatever. Anyway, this has been an ongoing thing since February. And one day, about a week ago, I get a call from the Walmart pharmacy and I'm so excited and I, uh, they, I answer it, I say hello, and they said, hello, um, is this Miss Blah Blah? And I was like, yes, this is, and is this about my Adderall prescription? And he says, uh, no, um, this is, I was wondering, if you, this is you, right? This is, um, you're a videographer, and, and I'm like, he says some other things, but I can't understand because his accent is really thick. And I say, yeah, that's, that's me. What is this about? And he said, well, you know, I didn't get a chance to give you my business card last time you were here. And I just was wondering if I could give you my business card now. I'm like, what are you? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Are you, do you need to hire? Do you want to hire me to be, to do some video work? And he said, Oh, no, ma'am, no. I am I am a limousine driver, a chauffeur, and I can drive you to the bars and wherever you have a videography gig. So I'm just so confused, and uh, I probably repeat asking him, like, well, what's going on with my Adderall prescription? <laughs> Because he's calling me from the Walmart pharmacy number. And I want to know what's going on with my prescri prescription. But I was also so thrown off guard that actually, no, I don't think I did ask again about the prescription. Because I was just so confused. So, yeah. He wasn't trying to hire me. He just wanted to make sure I got his business card for... So I would get in his limo and would drive me to a bar and so yeah he just asks if uh, if he could text me his business card and I'm like honestly I honestly said um, thanks I mean what do you I mean it's just baffled so baffled Anyway, um, told a few people about it that day. Everyone was like, isn't that a HIPAA violation? What is that? That is just so wrong. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I don't think it's HIPAA violation because he wasn't talking about my health care. But at the same time, he has access to a bunch of stuff, like all my prescriptions. And it's just weird. Um, and I don't remember him. I do not remember him. Um, I can be kind of chatty sometimes. I don't know. I don't know what kind of interaction we had. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So several hours go by and he does not text me. So I figured, oh, I think he caught on to like how weird he was and that I would re I mean, I, uh, rightfully should be reporting his behavior so he's probably not going to give me his business card because then I would know exactly who this person was that violated all these 
protocols or whatever. I'm sure there are. Um, anyway, but that night he did text me. It wasn't even a business card. It was just a logo. It was like a car that said driving by Saeed or something like that. And then he wrote a text message just saying that he's a chauffeur in his uh, second job outside of Walmart and that I'm a lovely soul and if I need help with anything, reach out. So the next day I decided I will reply to that text message asking for help with my prescription because <laughs> that's what I needed help with. And he works at the pharmacy where my prescription is. So I texted him back. I said, hey, Saeed, yes, you could help me. I've been trying to get my Adderall since February. So if you can uh, figure out what's going on with that, please do that. And I then um, I got a missed call and I noticed that I had a couple missed calls and I looked it up and it turns out he had also been calling me. Uh, my phone automatically rejects unknown numbers, so it never rang. But when I looked through my missed calls, he had called me that night before, and then he called me as soon as I replied to his message. And anyway, um, he said that he will look into my prescription and get back to me. And a few days go by, and I'm not... Anyway, I go back to Walmart to figure, oh, I need, my prescription's about to expire. So they expire after six months and I, and I had two prescriptions. I needed to get that one and then there's, and then you have to wait a whole month before you can get your next prescription. And so the next prescription I was going to, I was going to have to like put in one month after I got this one was going to be expired if I didn't get it <laughs> right away so uh, um so yeah I had to I, really time issue here so I go to the pharmacy and he's there and I didn't know him I don't remember this person at all but um I walk I find a woman I wanted to talk to a woman because I just didn't want to mess with whoever this Saeed guy was but he was definitely a man so I went up to the woman and asked her for help and as she's helping me she's she's saying oh look at that what a coincidence the the Adderall is here because I was asking to just get my prescription out of their system which isn't a thing by the way your doctor has to put it you have to call your doctor they have to do it um it's the healthcare in America is so dumb. And I don't know how regulated it is in other countries, honestly. Maybe Adderall isn't even legal in other countries, so I don't know. And I'm very appreciative of my Adderall prescription, but the hoops you have to go through. <sighs> anyway, um, but also the work ethic here. Like, we're expected to work our asses off. So, I mean, a lot of people have to take Adderall because that's how you get work done and you just have to work your ass off to survive and without Adderall how do you work how do you survive I don't know so there's this whole there's that whole thing anyway um let's see uh, uh oh I do not need that why do I always get in the wrong lane um so uh so yeah, as she's helping me and she's saying there, oh, look, there is Adderall in the system. It looks like I can fill this for you today. I'm like, okay, so like now can you just do it? And she's like, well, we have to go to lunch. Anyway, as she's helping me, as we're talking this through, he like pushes into her. He walks up. He's like touching her shoulder to shoulder. He's just, and he's like leaning in over the counter, like leaning in at me and saying, oh, hello, miss, I can't say my name, <laughs> um, blah, blah, uh, how are you? Did you get my text message? 
I mean, by the time he asks if I got my, if I got his text message, he had like pushed her out of the way. She was just like, what the fuck is this? Um, so she went off to do her thing and I was left alone with him to finish up my issue. Thanks lady. Um, yeah. So then he starts asking about my text if I got his text and I and I actually start recording at this point um and yeah so by the time it's recording uh you can hear him asking me like did you get did you get the text message and I said yeah I I even replied to it and he's like oh yeah okay and we just kind of awkwardly look at each other because I had just start. I just start hitting. I had just started recording on my phone, and I don't. I don't know if he is aware that that might have been why I picked up my phone and started fiddling with it or what. But yeah, I'm very. Um, um, very. I was very obvious about doing something on my phone right when he was like, "Hello." How are you? What's going on? Um, so anyway. Okay, yeah. So, so yeah. He uh, And then he reminded me that in our previous conversation, months and months ago, when apparently I met this guy, and apparently I was friendly, and that really tipped him over some kind of edge uh, to, into inappropriate behavior. Um, he reminded me that he had made a joke about, like, I, when he was asking me about insurance, I said, I don't have any. And he said, oh, well, I can put you on my insurance. And he said it, and I'm not great at picking up jokes. I'll fess up to that. I can be very slow on picking up sarcasm and um, jokes like that. So I was just like, really? Can you, can you really do that? I mean, and also... Who knows what's possible? Like, there's these coupons and there's these healthcare apps and there's all these weird things you can do. Um, yeah, I mean, like the last time I went to the pharmacy, they told me about Good RX, which is this app that you get like seriously good discounts on your prescriptions. But they just did it for me. Like, they used their own account for me. And, um,. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and that was a woman, by the way. That was at Publix. I have, I've also had good pharmacists at Publix. And so, anyway. Um, so, yeah, they just, like, pulled up their app and scanned the code and gave me some, like, 50% off my prescriptions before. So, when he's just, he says with a very straight face, like, oh, I, well, I'll just add you to my insurance. Um, I was like oh my god, really? Really? Uh, and he busted out laughing. He just thought it was so funny. He's like, no, of course not. I'm like, okay. Well, that wasn't a very nice joke. I have to pay a whole lot of money for my health care and prescriptions and everything. And good for you. You have insurance and it's funny to laugh about. Anyway, um, so, um, all right, yeah, so awkward conversation, he, uh, it's, I mean, he said that it was lunchtime, and he immediately, like, he sees me, he takes his jacket off, for a second I thought he was taking his jacket off so I couldn't see the name, because I was actually looking for the name tag. I was looking to see who is this Saeed person that called me from the pharmacy line and then texted me and then called me repeatedly from his personal phone. Um, so yeah, I thought, I thought maybe he realized that he was in the wrong and he was trying to hide who he was, but no, he just, he took his jacket off so that he could come around the counter and get up right next to me and ask me how my business is going and he got me to say the name of my business because I'm a fool and he was just like he kind of remembered half of it so I just kind of like finished it for him and I was like damn it why do I do that 
and anyway so um but yeah I just like get the heck out of there and then he calls me so I get a, so Walmart sends you text messages when your prescriptions are ready and the prescription got it was ready shortly after their stupid lunch break which I couldn't stick around like I think it was an yeah it was gonna be over an hour I couldn't just sit around I had to go to work so um so yeah I went to work and shortly after I was at work I got that text message that my prescription was ready and then uh shortly after that he he calls from the pharmacy line again but this time I had already told my boss about what happened I told a few of my co-workers as well but my boss was right there and I was just like you answer it you have a dude's voice get this guy off my case so he did it was awesome I loved it so much I, I, I can't believe how much I love that but yeah he just answered with his very deep manly voice he actually has an extra deep voice which I like um so yeah he's like hello this is uh whatever I didn't even say who it is he just says hello and then yes of course it's Saeed calling from the Walmart pharmacy line to tell me that my prescription's ready which is unnecessary because they automatically send text message reminders and no one ever has ever called me just to tell me that before um but yeah so he's can he's like asking for me he's asking the boss to talk with me and if i will be coming in and my boss says that oh you yeah well she's unavailable right now but i will relay this message and i will go with her tonight to pick up the prescription and uh and he said this site guy was very sounded very disappointed <laughs> by that and then um so then today it was that was two days ago monday today's wednesday today this morning i decide i've got to go get my prescription i couldn't go monday i couldn't go yesterday i'm gonna go today and he was there again But luckily when I got up, I found, there was someone else working at the counter. So I was, I went up to that guy and I asked him, oh yeah, cause also Saeed was in the drop off section and thank God I needed to be in the pickup section. So <clears throat> this other person was working in the pickup section. So I went up to him and as, and I'm asking about other prescriptions. Cause I realized that I actually, I actually should just go ahead and refill some other things too. And <clears throat> I swore to myself I wasn't going to use Walmart anymore. But then it's like, well, I'm here and I don't want doctors to have to, I don't have to call the doctor and move a prescription around. So, um, so yeah, I ask him and uh, he, um, let me try to not show where I'm at. Um, very crooked. A lot of people cro drive very very crooked parking gosh Ugh. um yes yeah, so now I can open the windows um and there's bebop <laughs> so um what was I gonna say oh yeah so I went up to this other guy Angel or Angel I'm not sure how to pronounce it but he was great and since I realize I'm going to have to come back to pick up these other prescriptions, I ask him, when when can I come get it when Saeed is not working? And he kind of giggles, and, he, and then he's like, wait, are you, are you joking? Are you serious? And I said, I'm serious. And then and I said, I'm serious. He's He's been inappropriate. And right when I'm saying that, Saeed is calling my name and saying, hello, Miss Blimey. Um, pedal cat, Miss Pedal Cat, uh, how are you? And the guy that I'm actually talking to is just like his eyes get wide, and he's like, "Oh, okay, I'm very sorry. Give me a minute, and I will get back to you." And so he went around, 
and then he looked at some things and then he came back and he said Friday after two. So I'm gonna go back Friday after two to pick up my prescriptions and hopefully Saeed will leave me the F alone. <laughs> so yeah, um, I do really like the actual pharmacist there. She's been amazing. She's from Iran. I've commented her on to her about her eyelashes. Her eyelashes look amazing and they're natural and blah blah. I'm very jealous. Anyway, but she's in she's so great. And I really otherwise I've always like I mean I hate Walmart in general. Parking and that parking at that particular one is really bad, but I really like that pharmacist and um I think the prices are cheaper there than other places. Anyway, so now I know when Saeed is not gonna be there and that's when I will go <laughs> so annoying all right uh, oh let me show you my shoes today 